With less than two weeks to go until the coronation of King Charles, a new poll suggests public opinion about the British royals is changing, with less than a third of 18 to 24-year-olds in the UK wanting the monarchy to continue. Commissioned by the BBC's Panorama programme, the YouGov poll also revealed that almost half of those asked who are from ethnic minority backgrounds believe the royal family has a problem with race and diversity. Jane Corbyn reports. As preparations gear up for the coronation, crowds have turned out for a royal engagement in York. It's exciting, the atmosphere is lovely. I think they make a lovely couple and I think they're very dignified. There's a small but noisy protest here too. Across the country there are millions of people who want the monarchy abolished. They spend so much of our money on their lives and their homes and their travel. But we're basically wanting to raise awareness of the growing movement against the monarchy and to object uh, to the succession. Panorama wanted to test attitudes to the monarchy and commissioned an online poll from YouGov. The poll of nearly 4,600 UK adults suggests 58% want the monarchy to continue and 26% want an elected head of state instead. When YouGov asked the same question in July 2013, a year after the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, 75% of people polled said the monarchy should continue, and only 17% wanted an elected head of state. For young people, decline in support appears starker. In the new poll, less than a third of 18 to 24-year-olds said the monarchy should continue, compared to 64% back in 2013. Do you care about the monarchies? Is it something you support? No. I wouldn't say I don't care, but I'd say it's not necessarily something that I'm invested in. I'd say I wasn't invested in it. The only person I know who does support the monarchy is my gran, and she loves it. Charles has a problem with Gen Z. The future of the monarchy for, for Charles and for William um, and the popular support which they need uh, is really in the balance when it comes to the younger people. But those who know the king say he can connect. He has an amazing ability to reach teenagers, which a lot of people don't have. And I've literally been with him in prisons, in youth offending institutes, in job centres, and he can make that connection. It is quite extraordinary. The poll also asked whether the royal family has a problem with race and diversity. It suggests nearly half of those from an ethnic minority background think the royal family do, compared with a third of the population as a whole. Tonight, for the first time, they tell their story. Two years ago, in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, the Duchess of Sussex described remarks she claims were made by a royal about her unborn child. Concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? The royal family denied any racism. No, we're very much not a racist family. There's not a racist drop of blood in the king. I just don't think it's a problem. It's made into a problem by those who wish to make it a problem. Buckingham Palace says His Majesty and the royal household treat all matters of race and diversity with great seriousness. Times have changed since the last coronation 70 years ago. So will the king adapt the monarchy? If the monarchy is going to be the thing that makes Britain great, it's going to have to redefine what it is for the 21st century, because it's, it's living off the position it had over the past few centuries. The monarchy has been part of the fabric of British life for hundreds of years. As it's done throughout the ages, the crown will have to adapt to survive. Jane Corbyn, BBC News. And you can read more on that story on the BBC News website.